I'm Wade Kisner and I grew up hunting upland birds. Nothing's better than chasing a couple English setters called Sweet Lou and Adeline. Lou is a master hunter and Adeline is quickly learning the trade. These are some of our tales. Sweet Point Setter Tales is brought to you with support from our sponsors. I started guiding upland hunts with uh, Sweet Lou about nine years ago. We really enjoy that, but it became obvious right away that we needed more dogs to do this on a fairly regular basis. In 2016, we bred Adeline to uh, Sweet Lou. She whelped nine very healthy puppies in April of 2016. Mom does all the work for the first uh, four weeks or so. When it comes time to wean the puppies and they get on solid food, that's a whole other story. Nine, it got to be kind of challenging at times. I couldn't help but uh, watch them develop, you know, their motor skills. And once their eyes got open and they started moving about, and, uh, you know, there's always one that's the first one that wants to climb out of the box. that nine I kept two. A uh, dog that I have now that we call Major, a male. And then we kept a small female who was the run of the litter. We call her Duchess. When you're having contact with these puppies every day and you're watching them develop and grow, I get pretty attached to, to uh, I'm just kind of that guy, I just get attached. I love, I love dogs and uh, you know, puppies are all cute. I know I can't keep them all. I'd love to have kept every one of the nine, but I knew that wasn't gonna happen. Eight weeks ago today, we had a litter of uh, nine puppies. This is Major here. This is one of the dogs, one of the setters that uh, we're gonna keep. We're, we've got some high uh, expectations for this guy. Uh, we'll start some of his yard training here soon and, and uh, we'll probably keep another female. So there'll be two dogs that'll be staying. Did you have your eye on a specific pup when you're uh, looking and which one was it? Yeah, early on, um, she had an orange collar, so I called her orange. She's almost going to have an eye patch, but it's going to be brown. She started developing a little brown on her left eye. I kind of took uh, took fancy to that, and she kind of stole my heart, so to speak, from the beginning. So, Well, I'm definitely going to hunt her. Later on this year, we're going to go up to South Dakota uh, on a hunting trip with uh, some family members and definitely get her in the field, see how she does. It's a, it's a happy day and a sad day for me. We've watched them grow, we've watched them change, and we've watched them uh, uh, get their colors. Well, today, uh, at least half the litter is on their way to their forever homes. Uh, we've got puppies uh, going to Des Moines. We have one going to St. Louis. Some of them are gonna be here locally. I've been looking for a long time, and just the chance to have a puppy from Lou and Adeline was too good to pass up. Pretty, pretty straightforward. Yeah, yeah. What's up, puppy? What's going on? Yeah, that's 
sign. Licking you already. There's a puppy that we're getting, Mommy. Right there. Did you find it? Yep, right there. Are you sure that's the one? Yep. Can you get her out? I can't reach. I can't reach. I understand she has a name now. Other way. Turn your other hand over. There you go. <laughs> it's thinking. <laughs> I think this is Asa. Yeah, that's, that's the guy. That's our big guy. She might be worn out though. She's been running. Yeah, it'll be fun to see him what he looks like by yeah. October. No, you'll see him again. A few aiming for a cures. She's going to help with my pointer that I have already in the field, so we'll add a extra nose to the field as well as one to the house. So she has a pretty good little spot to be at, and hopefully we get some quail and pheasants. You asked me what the hardest thing is about raising a litter of nine puppies. I think the hardest thing for me was letting them go. Well, we've started quite a journey. Adeline and Lou's first litter of nine Sweet Point puppies are all doing great, carrying the names Bella, Piper, Asa, Hank, Benelli, Major, Darby, Hanny, and Duchess. We are very pleased that this group have inherited their parents' bird hunting skills. And what about our family? Well, Major and Duchess have logged many miles in the truck, guiding clients, and along with Travis's Darby Lou, made their first trips to South Dakota, Kansas, and Nebraska. Duchess is a 35-pound bird fanatic that burns up the field and reminds me of her dad in that respect. Major is our big boy at 65 pounds who has a closer working style, much like his mother, and is well on his way of being a fine gun dog. Travis and Darby join us often for personal hunting adventures and special events where maximum guiding dog power is required. We are excited to see what the future holds for these youngsters as they continue making memories in the field. puppies I couldn't help but watch them develop. You know, it made me think, well, you know, what, what will this dog become? What kind of hunting dog could this dog be? Which one of these is going to be the next Lou? Hi, I'm Wade Kisner with Sweet Point Setter Tales. Do you have an interesting story idea for a future episode? We'd love to hear about it. Drop us a line at sweetpointsetters.com.